Hello and welcome to the programme with me, Riz Latif. First tonight, Wembley hosts the FA Cup semi-finals this weekend and today police warned that anti-social behaviour, such as swearing and racial chanting by fans going to and from games, is on the rise. Today they held a summit hearing from victims and people who work on a transport network. Officers say the problem may be worse than they think because many un incidents go unreported. Our Home Affairs correspondent, Nick Beek, reports. Coming up later in the programme... One of England's most distinguished Catholic state schools has won a high court action over its admissions policy. The London Oratory School, whose pupils have included the sons of former Prime Minister Tony Blair and Liberal Democrat leader Nick Clegg, was challenging a decision that its policy discriminated against children from less well-off families. Our education reporter Mark Ashdown is outside. And what's been the reaction to that verdict? A policeman who killed an off-duty soldier while driving at more than 80 miles an hour will not face criminal charges despite an inquest jury's conclusion that he'd been driving too fast. A floating restaurant on the Thames was one of several boats left sinking when a pontoon failed and started sinking. Poor children in the capital have a much better start in life than children from other deprived parts of the country. Next, it's an election battle that's pitching one of Labour's new stars against one of the Lib Dems' highest profile women. Both parties' leaders have already been to Hornsey and Wood Green this week to back their candidates and have said the outcome's too close to call. In the latest in our series, Every Vote Counts, Tara Welsh looks at what it might take to make history there. Stay with us, though, still to come this Friday evening. Kenneth Branagh is to return to the London stage. He'll spend a year in the West End putting on a season of plays with his own company, featuring other star names, including Dame Judi Dench. And as Amelia Papadopoulos reports, he's following in the footsteps of other famous actors who set up their own theatre companies. OK, time for the sports news now with Sarah Orchard. To a very proud dad with divided loyalties, fair to say. I have, thank you very much, Riz. It is a ticket, right then. That is all the sport, back to you, Riz. Thanks very much, Sarah. A, a busy weekend. <laughs> Thank you. Now, it's one of this year's most anticipated films. When the latest instalment of the Star Wars saga hits cinemas, it'll not only feature a glimpse of Harrison Ford, but it'll be quite a moment for two young Londoners who've landed starring roles, as Victoria Hollins reports. Anticipated it is. OK, let's get a check on the weather for the weekend with Thomas Schaffernacker. What have uh, you got for us? Hi there, Frez. Uh, well, I was going to say, uh, may the gale force be with you. No. <laughs> Thank you. We will. Thomas, thanks very much. Now, just before we go, the main headlines. And that's it for now. Plenty more, though, of course, on our website. And we'll be back during the 10 o'clock news. From all of us on the team here, thanks very much for watching. And do have a lovely weekend. Bye-bye.